some of the rumors that we're hearing, um, like the way Sherman talked about uh, leaving the Niners, um, mm-hmm. the way um, uh, Jared McKinnon was like, no, I'm not coming back, right? I think John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan are in a dangerous situation right now because if they trade Jimmy, say they trade Jimmy and he goes to New England, and I know you've talked about this, right? And then we go and trade up in the draft and go and get Trey Lance or whoever else, right? Zach Wilson. Whoever right? it is. Yep. We finish eight and eight. And then New England finishes 12 and four or whatever, right? 13 and three. Not, no bueno. We will call for Shanahan's head. Oh, right. And Joel oh, yes. Head, right. They're all done. Right. Yes. Yes. So they're like, well, how do we get out of this? Yes. Right? I'm going to give a little tidbit. Ben Roethlisberger just went and took a new contract for about 14 or 15 million. Right. Tom Brady has already said that he's going to rework his contract for. Right around the same. Mike Evans, willing to take a contract. Mm. Right? Everybody, anybody that's willing to make the hard decision to say, hey, I'll take less money. For the good of the team. Exactly, right? So it's a tough year. Yeah. Build the team around us. Somebody needs to be an adult in that room, and it has to be Jed York. Right? Because he's paid John Lynch, Kyle Shanahan, and Jimmy Garoppolo more than $200 million. That's correct. Right? Sit them down in the room and go, hey, listen, fellas, we need to do something about this. Yep. Right? Yep. We need to fix this situation. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying that Jimmy shouldn't be traded or can be traded or whatever, right? But he's already been proven that he is a serviceable quarterback in this system. No doubt. Everybody wants to talk about how he makes uh, he can't make this long throw. He can't make that long throw. Tell me, the something. issue is the health, not that, right? So he's serviceable. Yeah, totally. Yeah. The other thing is, is it takes. I played quarterback in high school. It takes a certain person when you're running a ball like they did in the NFC Championship, right? Yeah. Until you prove to me that you can stop the run, I'm going to keep running the ball. Right. True. Simple as that. Choose up the clock. Keeps the time of possession down. Keeps Aaron Rodgers on the sideline, most importantly. Right? Mm-hmm. And to tell your quarterback, hey, listen, you're not going to throw the ball. Right? It takes a certain person that has a certain demeanor to be like, okay, coach, this is for the good of the team. Mm-hmm. Right? That's true. So yeah, that's true. on that aspect, you can't bring in um, an Aaron Rodgers or somebody like that or a Matt Stafford and say, hey, this is a system that we're going to run. Because they're going to be like, wait a second, I'm not just handing the ball off every single right. time. Like, this no. is crazy. Drew Brees wouldn't go for right. that. Tom Brady wouldn't go for that. No. Not a chance, right? Yeah. The other side of things is you can't bring an ego into that room. Like, that's Tom right. Brady. That's right. Right? And he, all, Kyle the- always goes for egoless quarterbacks. I mean, uh, always. Totally. Right? He doesn't yes. want somebody that has a spine at all. You're, right? That's a, <laughs> yeah. Right, because if you look at it, you you look at it, you look at uh, Tom Brady. The one thing that Bruce Arians said was, "I'm letting Tom coach." Yeah, that's super important. You bring a yeah. guy like that in there, uh, you mm-hmm. could be the best offensive mind in the game. But that guy has everything, right? He has all the MVPs, the Super Bowl MVPs, the rings, and everything else. I don't think if they had brought Tom in, that would have worked, right? Kyle doesn't have. Yeah, uh, I think you're probably right with that. Ego. I think it would have been oil and water. Cats totally. and dogs. Yeah, totally. Right. Yep. I think Jimmy is the fit, but I think Jimmy actually has to sit down with them and like in the contract, put in that, hey, you're going to play a certain amount of games and I'm, we're going to give you a bonus. Sure. Right? Yeah. If, if you put it that way, where he has to be on the field to get paid. Then maybe that's what needs to be done. He, the, they need to force his hand. They've right. given him $100 million. He should be willing to work with them. Totally. But yeah. on the other side of things is you look at it ever since Jimmy's come here, he's well, – we're, we're looking for an upgrade. We're looking for an upgrade. They need to stand behind the quarterback. True. Right? You're going to affect his confidence, and everybody says, well, he's not the same quarterback. Right? Well, if well, he keeps telling me that I yeah. stink every bloody day, like, yeah. that's what's going to happen. Right? Right. right. Like, they need to stand behind him rework his contract right yeah yep. and realistically fix that offensive line 
And Trey yes. Williams is not the guy. Why? Character issues, right? I had character issues with Colin Kaepernick. I heard you and your dad talking to him, how he was not a good guy in the locker room. Uh, there's rumors that he slept with other players' girlfriends, right? Uh, Alden Smith being yep. one of them, right? Yep. Character is huge. Joe yep. Staley was the anchor of that offensive line. He held people accountable. They need to go out and get guys in for the price tag, man. Like, that's a lot of money. That's quarterback money for an offensive lineman. It's 33. <laughs> Next Old, season. Right? Yeah. You want guys with good character, right? Yep. Alex yep. Mack, Andrew's good character. Villain yep. away, but for the Steelers. Guy in the military, fought for the country, solid dude. Those are guys that you want to target because they'll hold other people accountable. And you need to do something because J.J. Watt is going to go into Arizona and he's going to be a wrecking ball and he's going to do the same thing to them. And yeah, and it's 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 important to remember. We said Jimmy's serviceable. He is. McGlinchey isn't. No. Whoever they have at center is not. So they need to get at least serviceable at those at multiple spots in the offensive line and replace right. Trent Williams. McGlinchey was serviceable when Joe Staley was there when he held everybody Correct. accountable. Right? Correct. And that's yeah. what you need. You need um, you need the right type of veterans, not yeah. guys that are going to come in and be like a lone wolf, be like, yeah, well, I was good. I can't do anything about anyone else. And that's right? exactly what Trent Williams is. Yeah. It, yeah. It, yeah. He's had – It sets the wrong – yeah. He's had character issues since he was at Washington, right? Yep. Through no the hit yeah. fit, sat yep. out a year. I'm not saying the guy's not a stud, he right? Is. But when you're playing in a position where it has to be a group effort – Yep. Right. If yep. you block your guy, but the guy that the other guy's having problems with, if you're not pushing your guy into him, all of a sudden, well, the offensive line doesn't work. If your right. quarterback's still getting hit, right? Right. You look at the pocket that Brady had in the Super Bowl, was ridiculous. Yeah. They couldn't do anything with it, right? Yeah. You put Jimmy in a pocket like that, He's all of a sudden, yeah. it's a little bit different, right? The guy... Yeah. When you get hit that much, look at Russell yeah. Wilson, what he's saying. He's like, no, no, wait a second. I'm not getting hit like this. Yep. Right? Yep. yep. So. Ken, thank you so much for coming on the show. You killed it. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. I look yep. forward to talking to you again. Absolutely, man. Take care.